Hello everybody and welcome back. I need to make a set of double doors for this opening. One of the most critical parts of such a build is getting the 12 hinge mortises perfectly placed. So in this illustration you've got a hinge somewhere around here, here, and here. And you have to have the mortise on the door perfectly aligned with the mortise on the frame. On top of that, these three mortises, the distance between them has to be gosh darn perfect. And not only that, but these hinges on the door have to sit in such a place where you have the perfect gap at the bottom and at the top of the opening. And then finally, if that's not tricky enough, you've got three hinges over here, and these three hinges have to line up with the opposing hinges. So there's a lot of things that can go wrong. You can obviously accomplish these tasks with very careful measuring and cutting, but I thought it was best to make a jig or a router template, whatever you want to call it. So it's about six feet long and it has a guide for the upper hinge uh, cleat on the front to help position it and the middle hinge and the lower hinge. And here are some steps on how I built it. I had uh, two scraps of MDF about yay big and neither one of them was quite long enough. These came in something packing material. I don't even remember what. I decided to cut it and I'm going to have to do a butt joint sorts in here to get it to the right length but before I do that since these two pieces are a little shorter I think I'm going to take the time to cut the hinge mortise template in it and I think MDF is a really good material for a job like this because it mills and machines really nicely it's a little dusty when you work with it so dust control is a little more important and I cut these two edges and cleaned them up with my shooting board next I'm going to route a dado on each side so that I can put a spline across it First thing I'm going to do is right top, since this strikes me as the type of jig you could easily get disoriented. I went around my house and took a quick look at the various doors I have, and they vary. I don't think it's very critical, but the doors I'm most clo closely trying to match have the uh, hinge spacing, where the top hinge is about 8 inches from the top of the door jam, and that's what I'm going to try to duplicate with these. I think every manufacturer has a slight variation on where they like to put their hinges, and I have some doors in my house that were different types of doors, and even though they have three hinges, they don't quite line up on this spacing. They're off by good inch and a half or so. Something to keep in mind. Next I'm going to start marking where the hinge and the top of the top hinge is right at eight inches and I'm using a very fine tip pencil. This is three tenths of a millimeter. Next I have this hinge jig that I've owned for many years and this is uh, exactly the size and shape of the hinges I'm going to be using. There's a sharp edge on this side, well not really sharp, but it comes to a bit of a point. And how the jig works is you put this against a piece of wood and you hit it very hard with a hammer and it makes an indentation where the hinge mortise is supposed to go. I don't think it's going to be very effective on the MDF so I'm just going to use it as a template to mark where I want this to land. And there it is. Here are the three common hinges, at least where I live. This guy has a 5 8 inch radius and is the cheapest for factories to make since it's a single pass with a very large router bit. This guy over here has square corners, which is old school, and it's easy to cut if you're using chisels and the like. For me, I'm going to go with this guy, which has a quarter inch radius. I just need a half inch pattern following bit and a rectangular template. Given that, I think that means that I'm just going to use the table saw and similar tools to cut out a square pattern for the router to follow. Looking through my collection, I have these two router bits. Both of them are half inch. This one has the bearing on the proper side, but it is way too deep uh, to follow template. Well, I managed to get the bearing on this bit as opposed to this one, and this one has the flutes that go all the way to the tip, so it should so it should route a uh, flatter mortise on the bottom. And it's still a little tall, so I think when I get there I'm going to have to come up with a way to deal with that. I purchased this pattern bit. I was actually at a local supplier, which is nice. I didn't have to go out to Amazon for it. It's a flat top. It's got the schmoo on it for shipping, but the cutter head is up here and the bearing is right below it. So it's a very shallow depth cutter and it will be able to follow this pattern and give me the mortise for the hinge uh, without much trouble. So I used this straight edge against the jig and I measured the distance and I got an inch and an eighth. 
So the quote-unquote money shot on a project like this is to make sure you get this template right exactly where you want it. So I tried to sneak up on it and just kiss the line and I just realized that I set the height of my table saw blade and didn't account for the thickness of the sled. I have decided to put a flat top tooth blade that comes from my dado stack and I set it to the appropriate height and I'm going to use that to hog out the material in between the saw curves that I've cut. All the other blades I have are alternate tooth bevel which leaves little tiny bat ear types of ridges in the top of the cut. Well this one that's on the small piece came out a little sloppier than I would have liked. There's the better part of a millimeter play in there. And on the long piece this one came out really good. That is snug. I have my thin strip ripping jig that I did a video on set to about a 32nd of an inch and a piece of maple to try to get some thin strips of hard wood. Got these to fit very well. And here are the thin strips I ended up cutting. So I have a 3 quarter inch bit in the router and I have the joint right here and I measured the distance from the bit to the edge of the router base. And with any luck, I should be able to route a groove on either side of the joint that is the depth of this piece of plywood. Here's one of the splices lined up, ready to patch. There's the piece of plywood that I cut, and that fits good. I guess it fits a little better that way. I'm going to use some glue. So, and here's the glue joint. I used uh, CA glue to adhere it. And the first time I glued this piece on, I glued it on backwards. So I had to take it apart, clean it up, made quite a mess, but got it all back together. And it seems pretty strong. Probably as strong as the MDF, not stronger. To use the jig on the door frame side, you line the top edge up with the inside edge of the door frame. The paint edge marks the spot in this case. And on the door side, so because the doors had an eighth of an inch offset, you line up the jig to the overhang of the door with the gap you want. In my case, about an eighth of an inch. I'm using this paint stirring stick as a spacer. By lifting the jig up an eighth of an inch, you're effectively lowering the door an eighth of an inch. And as a sanity check, if I grab the door frame and line that pencil mark up with the top of the jig, you can see that the door is hanging about an eighth of an inch below what would be the top of the inside of the door frame. So that's what I'm looking for. And then I can corroborate that the hinges are lining up where I think they should be. And you don't need to build a jig like this to hang a door. You could certainly measure very carefully chisels and freehand routing. Uh, you could also build a jig to do a single hinge and then just very carefully measure. I have a video where I did an oak doorway uh, quite a while ago now and that's what we did. We had the doors, already had the mortises in the doors for the hinges and we just had to build a door frame uh, lining up those six hinges uh, in the frame. The mortises in the frame had to match those in the doors and I had a single use uh, template to route the hinge mortises and we just very carefully lined it up six times and did it that way. Well, that's a wrap for this guy. It proved to be as convenient as I hoped when routing the 12 mortises in my double door. The hinges lined up like a champ, making the trickiest part of the build like a walk in the park. Be sure to check out that video, and probably didn't save me a lot of time in the grand scheme of things, but I thought it would be a fun build. I'm not sure when I'll use it again, but I'm glad I have it. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Stay safe. Keep your eyes out for the next one.